Faces, well, they're great for making faces. All kinds of faces. And that's all good fun until mum or dad says... Hey, if you keep making them faces, the wind will change it and you'll remain the same. Look at me. Hmm? Hold it there. Can that really be true? Today on Parent Busters, we put it to the test. If you pull a face and the wind changes, will you really stay like that? For this experiment, we will need two things. One, a face that can pull well faces. Just doing my warm-ups. <laughs> <laughs> and two, some wind. And where do you get wind? Well, we could go to Wellington. Oh, I hear it's the windiest place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> But we're staying right and making our own wind. <laughs> Wasn't me. Wasn't me either. No, we will be making our own wind with this. Sharon, are you ready? Your face may in fact freeze in the process of this. Ready. Goggles on. Check. Earmuffs on. Earmuffs on. Earmuffs on. Sorry. Earmuffs on. Oh, check. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go. I'm going to change the direction of the wind and see if Sharon's face stays stuck like this forever. Here goes. What's that? I can't hear you. Oh. So, so I think what Sharon was trying to say is that the chair is about to fly away. You! Uh, let's take a look at a sort of scientific yeah. explanation. We asked a doctor if there was anything in the human face that would make it freeze when the wind changed direction. The doctor said... The only way the weather could make your face freeze is if your face actually froze, which would only happen if the temperature was very, very cold. But the wind changing and freezing your face? Not true. Which means your parents are busted. We did not freeze Sharon's face today. In fact, we saw a range of different expressions from Sharon that have never been seen before. <laughs> you. You. I'm sorry. Join us again on Parent Busters next week. Goodbye.